I'm going to run the AT Max in a very very irony spot. You can see it's full up of corrugated iron. There's some here, there's some there, there's some there, there's some foil. There's some foil there. Um, we've got all kinds of trash. We've got aluminium trash there. More foil. More of that junk. We've got bottles with metal on the band. We've got broken glass, which is always a danger. So we'd recommend to wear gloves. We have some corrugated here, we have wire here, and then we have a can buried, or a top of a can buried. Um, so uh, yeah, you can see it's a fairly, fairly ch challenging site. And there's more foil there. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, let's give the AT Max a go in coins mode with the uh, iron disc of 23, and we've got five bars of sensitivity of ground balance to around 81. And um, let's see what happens here. So that wasn't too bad, so let's t turn on the iron audio and we'll turn around and, and listen to that same patch again. So let's increase the iron discrimination upwards. 30 to its highest point. Um, so we'll run it again there with the iron audio off. I must admit that's a bit better, but we're losing the iron, but we turn around at the end of this short run here, just a couple more feet. So now we turn the iron audio on. Now quickly here, and on first, in amongst all that. Yes, we can, but it's 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 foil, big lump of foil. So, run it under some grass that's been disturbed, but it's fairly clean underneath. So let's have a quick ground balance here. It's Eighty-five. We're at five bars of sensitivity. We're in coins mode. Twenty-three iron disc. So now we're getting into longer grass, and the problem is I'm just trying to get the coil to the soil. But it's much quieter in here. In fact, you can walk for yards without getting any signals at all. Could be a coin. Let's just do it in pinpoint. Fairly broad. Before we do, we're going to listen to it on the E-Track and look at it. Notice where the cursor is going up to the top and it's showing me zero one two two. That's a that's a dead giveaway for steel. So let's uh let's do something else. So we're looking at Deus now and I have it set to basic one. Now I'm getting a buzz because I have my iron volume at three and I'm getting wrap around 
high 90s. See if we pinpoint that. So I'm thinking that this is definitely iron uh, because all three have kind of given it away really. Um, okay, let's have a look. Okay, it's either very deep, big and deep, or it's very small and shallow. So uh, we're just going to dig it out. We're looking at the remains of um, some kind of a tin or something. Here's some of it here. And if you look into the hole there closer, you'll see the telltale signs of, of rust. And uh, scrap, okay. So the detectors were right, really. Here's another one we heard the other day. I'm getting an iron spit there, and we only have iron disc at 35. So we'll see what the e track says. Showing me mixed numbers of ferrous and non-ferrous. Again, and frequency 7.8, we've ground balance and everything else. Sensitivity is at 70. So I'm getting iron volume and I'm getting double tone and I'm getting a kind of a bleating sound. So it's probably junk. So let's try and dig it out. As it's such a large area, I dug out a bigger hole than necessary. So, um, so the whole thing is live. Strongest hit being here. See, could I desensitize? Yeah, the strongest hit being in the corner. So we'll just concentrate on this spot for now. It is very scrunchy, very hard, compacted soil. Looks like a lot of coke because there was a smithy here back in the day. And I don't know will I ever be able to get to this target. I'm seeing rust. Hard, hard compacted ground. And I'm actually going to leave it because I'm out of breath already. So, uh, no point chasing junk iron. Okay, I'm in another area here now. This is a small little allotment type vegetable plot. And I've never been able to scan it because it's always been full of vegetables and things. But it gave up a lot of pottery when it was being dug out. Dozens and dozens of pieces of pottery. Now I'm about to cross a piece of foil, I think. That's interesting why it's giving off some kind of a mixed signal. So um, let's have a closer look at this. It's actually a soft piece of foil. Non-reactive. So that's just pure coincidence that there was a target underneath there. So let's see, is it still there? Could be. Now, wouldn't it be nice to come across an old gold 
sovereign or a half sovereign that's been lost here many many years ago so I think I'm swinging Dixie here now I'll just go backwards just go back over this patch The AT Max is very quick at um, sussing out iron, um, usually even on the first pass, which is admirable. There, that's completely gone now. Just a piece of foil again. I'll pick it up later. So, I don't think there's anything here that's been brought up to the surface from all this ground disturbance. So that's it for now.